the Medical Science Award. I am the Clinical Director of Cardiothoracic Surgery at Waikato Hospital. I am a heart surgeon by trade. I do open heart surgery um, and thoracic surgery, so I look after all the thoracic organs, including the esophagus occasionally. Before I came to uh, New Zealand, my main research interests were concentrated on uh, two areas, uh, valve disease of the heart and particularly rheumatic heart disease. And in the UK that's not common, I only saw one case every month or something. So coming to New Zealand and then, you know, in particular Waikato area, is devastating. I see rheumatic fever on a daily basis and I see sick children, young people, and uh, that have uh, pushed me further to try to find out the truth about it. And this is one of the major areas of our interest in research. In this region between us and Auckland, we do at least uh, 300 to 400 operations for rheumatic fever a year. It's a large number. And that's the people who have come for surgery. There is a lot of people out there in the community who have rheumatic heart disease that don't come for surgery. The most important finding is we identified herpes simplex viral infection in the valves. And it's a different type of infection, you see, because throat infection clear and then come back. But the viral infection stays in the valve and it stays in the nerves that supply the valves. If we treat it, we'll have less problems. If we vaccinate against it, we'll have less problems. I'd like to see early um, treatment and early intervention and I'd like to see a good uh, management after the operations and I would hope one day I'd like to see that our research will yield a vaccine that will stop rheumatic fever forever and then we don't have it anymore. Um, and one day I'm hoping that this will yield some positive information that will change the rheumatic fever forever because you know this is this is a big problem for New Zealand. It's a huge problem for New Zealand.